Hey, bub. <laughs> Pretty sure you're supposed to put the fuel in the tank. No. At least you got the right color jug. Oh, wait. <laughs> CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. We are on the road today, aren't we? A little smoother road. A little smoother road. Yeah, we tried to do an intro just like uh, two seconds ago on the concrete road, and it was not good. So, uh, got Mr. Hunter with me today. It's actually Saturday. We're heading down to um, Bardstown, Kentucky, to pick up a truck that I bought on an online auction. Your mom was real happy about it too. I'm sure she is. Of course, it's another Ford truck. This is, I think, a 1994 Ford F350. Four, four wheel drive deal. It's an X fire truck. Um, does not run, it says. So I bought off one picture. It looked pretty clean in the one picture, but it was from afar. Um, they said they could not locate the sending unit, and that's why it does not run. I'm pretty sure you do not need a fuel sending unit. All that does is tell the fuel gauge how much fuel you have. Um, so I'm assuming it's probably a fuel issue. Who knows? what we're getting ourselves into but there's very little info on it it does say it has 26,000 miles so it's a 1994 it does say it's a 7.3 diesel there's two different diesels that year um, you got the IDI the indirect injection or you could get a power stroke in that year if it was a five-speed manual it doesn't even say what kind of transmission it has in it so sometimes these little government sales they do not give you any info whatsoever so it's a big gamble. We don't know what we're getting into. I don't know how clean this truck is underneath, if it runs, if it doesn't. So we're going down here to uh, pick her up and uh, see what kind of mess we're getting into. We've got the uh, Dodge truck here today with us. The gooseneck trailer in the winch because I guess That's we're right. just going to winch it on. So hey, you know what this place is up here? Jim Beam. It's old Jim Beam Distillery up here pretty cool place they got all these buildings back here it's kind of foggy today it's probably hard for you guys to see but they got buildings back in there full of the good stuff I guess
right, we made it back with the uh, red Ford truck. So we got her winched up on there. It's been raining and stuff. We didn't get much footage. But uh, you might notice we got a fuel tank under there. So I got the scoop on it here finally. Um, they parked it. Basically what happened is one of the little elbows that come out of the top of the tank on a fuel sending unit rusted. So this has that 7.3 IDI diesel on it. It is automatic. Um, so it rusted, started leaking, got to uh, get air in the fuel line. So they dropped both the tanks out of this thing. And uh, I've got both of them. And they pretty much parked it and they got a new truck. So hopefully we can uh, fix some stuff up here and get it going again. So there is the um, one in question. So the thing rotted off right there. That goes down inside the tank. Pick up fuel sitting in it. The other one was okay, but they took both the tanks out. The funny thing is this truck is really clean. There's no rust or anything on it. It's a very clean truck. I'm pretty happy with it so far. So um, it's looking good. The only thing I see, it might be a little rusty is the old muffler. It looked like she's doing too well there, but uh, that's original Ford muffler on there yet. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's why they parked it and got him a new truck. So it's uh we'll get it unloaded here but it's a very clean truck inside you can definitely tell it's very low miles so we'll have to get a battery and stuff in it but uh fortunately we're just going to get it unloaded today and uh probably be a couple days here and we'll get back on this thing get it cleaned up it's been sitting for about a year it's all dirty and nasty looking but it's got this awesome worn winch bumper on it it's gonna be a cool truck for sure run me over in a tailor bud hey, I'd say I couldn't hardly outrun it if that was a Toyota we would have got run over I I'll, can tell you I'll give you a good test all right well it's actually Saturday afternoon here maybe Monday or Tuesday we'll jump on this thing and see what we can figure out about it yeah. clean your tires. hey you know what Tucker clean your windows. she's looking totally different so it's been a few weeks since I've actually went down to Florida. You guys have probably seen that in previous videos, but uh, Tucker's got this thing looking all spick and span. Brand new, it cleaned up nice, didn't it? Kind of, I just took an air gun to the seat. Man. Looking good, so he's been cleaning up. He uh, tidied up a bunch of wires. You got a radio in there now, back to radio. Does it work? Don't know. He did put new batteries in it. It's gonna be yep. inside. He's got that all looking good. So next step is Randy got these fuel tanks cleaned up. I got my sending units, all that stuff in there. So we're going to lift this dude up, see if we can get those in there and cross our fingers this thing starts up. got our new sending units here um, I got these off eBay and uh, they do not come with this pickup our old ones didn't have that pickup no more so I'd probably recommend buying a new rubber pickup with a super safety check valve 9000 what uh, I'm guessing this one probably goes in there maybe and this one probably goes in that tank over there 
We got a couple new gaskets here. We're going to get those put in there. Does that look right? Hmm. No? Means we didn't take this apart. I got O rings. Oh, you probably want that. You test fitting it first. Mr. Andy got these tanks all cleaned out. Which way does that need to point, Tucker? Do you want to ask the question again while you're on national television? <laughs> oh, Tucker wanted to know what these hoses are for. No, I, okay. I thought, are they not it? You thought it was like Bluetooth from that to the tank? No, I thought they were already on it. Oh, okay. So this is when you put, so when you go to the gas station, Tucker, and you get that little thing out of that machine and it takes your money, it goes in this hole right here. I didn't know they were I thought they were like a hard plastic. See how many mice you got in that one. Kevin found some. All right, we're gonna get this thing. So I had to source this from the uh, scrapyard, boneyard out there because I did not get this. Remember, the tanks were just in the back of the truck. So. We're gonna try to get her stuck up there. There, action. I just got the action put. Uh, we got it. Don't worry. We got it. Okay, who's the tall man putting the hoses on up here? Oh, me. That's me. not you, bud. You're just giving yourself work. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got her on there. A few lines hooked up. We just got to tighten it up. On to the front one. All right, getting this one all prepped. Got everything cleaned up, getting some new bolts. Got our straps in here, we're ready for a tank. Oh, you scared me. Oh, I gotta put these up in there first. Where are these, go? oh, way back here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go in front of this though. Yep. One way, one's bigger than the other. Make sure you push our way in and clip. Our extender's too long here. Probably need that wrench. Safety. You're doing a real good job. <laughs> Thank you. I can see a lot in here. All right, Tucker's getting the last vent hose and fuel filler hose hooked up. We'll set it down on the ground. Um, I'll probably go ahead and change the fuel filter. I don't know if they've done that. They gave us some more spare parts. They even got a new fuel pump. I don't think we need it. I think they just got that probably trying to fix a problem. If that wasn't a problem. We do have a new fuel filter. It looks like it needs change. We'll change it. Hey, bub. <laughs> Pretty sure you're supposed to put the fuel in the tank. No. Well, at least you got the right color jug. Oh wait. <laughs> Alright, Kevin's filling the front tank up. Verified the sending units. Yeah, this one's going up, Kevin. You must be doing something right. You guys can see. Oh, we got classical music going on. She's going up. Um, double checking fluids. Everything's looking good. Tucker needs to put about an inch of antifreeze in there. There's no more over there, by the way. Okay, we'll have to get some more. Engine oil's good. It's got a new fuel filter on it. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Like I say, they've been changing a lot of parts out on this thing. Um, we've got a bleeder up here. I wonder if we ought to take that fuel filter out and go ahead and feed it, or we just wanna pop the bleeder and shove air in the tank, try to do it that I don't way. I I'm concentrating over here. Oh, gotcha. 
We may just try to shoot air in the tank. We got a bleeder up here and uh, we'll try to get it bled out that way and then we'll try to start it. All right, Kevin got the front tank full. He's filling the back one up. Front one's got over a quarter. Let's see if the back one comes up here. It looks like it's starting to move. All right, I'm gonna flip it to the front. Tucker, um, you can blow a little bit of air pressure. You don't wanna blow too much, just a little bit, so we can try to blow some fuel up here. Let me get this bleeder open. So I got a pig mat laid under here. Pop this straight around. Okay, go ahead, Tucker. Don't put too much in it, just a little bit. I'm gonna take a little while because she's dry. And turn that key on so hopefully the solenoid and injection pump okay we got some bubbles coming out now there we go you crank it over some tucker and we'll see if the lift pump will squirt some out Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and start it. Don't worry about the uh, glow plugs because I doubt it's going to start. Oh. All right, we got awesome fuel flow. Okay. Put that back on, maybe. Go ahead and cycle the glow plugs. They go off. Hold it on the, or I'll hold it. Go ahead and crank it. Tried. Go again. That was easy. You got oil pressure. Yep. I'm gonna switch it to the rear and see what happens. Fuel gauge is working. Hopefully I don't die here. I think we may have got it. Well it's all that power, bud. I'm on the rear tank now. No music on YouTube, Bob. Can we find a dry place where you don't get it dirty? Oh, I ain't got my door shut. I got radio air. Safety first. That's all right. This is a very nice truck. I can't believe that thing fired up at easy D. Can you? Um, right or left? Go right, it might be better. You see what spot I'd slow down. Go slow for a little bit, the tires are muddy. Sounds good. Yeah. Tires are kind of flat spotted from sitting. Yeah, you can definitely feel it. This thing's been parked for a year or so.
steering wheel is nice and straight. Give her a little bean, see what she's got. Hold her on the floor. Nothing. <laughs> it's slow for sure. But there's nothing wrong with there's that. There's no comments. Get you down the road just fine. Oh, yeah. This is like a new truck. I didn't know it had such little miles on it. Take it out of overdrive. There it went in third. Yep, overdrive's working. Seems like it's got 14 gears in it. Drive's nice. Yeah. That was uh, that's a good find right here. That's easy to fix. Yeah, well, you never know what you're getting stuff when it don't run, but we got lucky on this one. All right, everything's working good. Gauges are working. We got, what, 26,649 miles. That's not very many for a 1994. Uh, radio's working, seems like the air is working, the defrost is working, so that tells you the air is working, it's cold out. But yeah, she is a uh, dandy. We're going to get her back here in the shop. Tucker's got to do a couple little things, and I guess we're going to put it up for sale. What do you think? I don't need it. You need it? No, you need I don't. another red truck? Yeah, no, you do. I, I'm in debt. I'm good. You're in debt. It is a nice truck. You can't keep them all, though, so. This place looks familiar. Take it easy so I don't get it muddy in the gravel. It snowed like five inches on Friday. It's Monday now. It's like all melting off. And pull her out front and we'll get some pictures of her. Home sweet home. Let me pop the hood on it. And shut her off. Turn your lights off. All right, there she is. Got beautiful red paint on it. 7.3 IDI. She's looking good. So I think what we're going to do with this one is just put it up for sale on our website. A lot of times I throw these on the eBay auction. We may just put it up for sale for now. See how that goes. So worn 12,000 pound winch works. Everything is good. The uh, bed's got a little bit of paint coming off here and there. It's still in good shape. Nothing rusted through. It's a stall bed. Does not have a tailgate on it, but uh, I'm sure that can be manufactured. So that one's got a pass through compartment. So we got lucky on this one. It does run. Um, very clean truck underneath. You guys seen everything under there that makes somebody a very nice work truck 26,000 miles on a 94 f350 four-wheel drive so has a longer wheelbase it's got the 84 inch cab axle so i'm assuming that's probably 11 foot bed on there or so 11 or 12 but uh yeah you getting her cleaned up bub <laughs> perfectionist at work well, anyway, guys, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, do me a great big favor. Go down below, hit that thumbs up button. Helps us out tremendously. And uh, if you want to buy this thing, I'll put the link down below to our website. If it's uh, still up or for sale, I'm getting ready to put it on Facebook. So a lot of times you guys want to see stuff first right off the bat. Make sure you um, check out our social media, Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. And uh, always put stuff up there for sale in our website. So, uh, yeah, there she is. Somebody's looking for a beauty right there isn't it <laughs> 26,000 miles don't find them like that every day do you never never, never all right guys we'll catch you next time hey bub the truck's gone unfortunately i put the truck up for sale on social media you guys don't know check out all of our social media sites i stuck it up as soon as we got done putting the or doing the video somebody's bought the truck all we got left we is Tucker. Don't have to worry about detailing it again because it's sat out in the rain. No more. So yeah, if you guys are looking for something, definitely keep eye on our social media: TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I tried to put all that stuff up, like I said earlier. So it is gone. Oh, well, we have one red truck over here. No. Am I selling it? Not for sale. Well, I guess it's not even mine yet. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.
had to come over and check out this saw attachment that goes on the helicopter. This thing's pretty cool. Looks like a big aluminum rod. So if you guys don't know, they use these around here for trimming up the trees and the power lines and stuff. It's got these wicked looking saw blades on there. Those things are probably 18, 20 inches in diameter. Carbide tipped. It's crazy. Got some sorts of a little motor in there <laughs> pretty cool old gas tank very interesting don't get to see those every day all that's held up by a little half inch bolt <laughs> 